everybody, this is Jay Nanda, San Antonio Metal Music Examiner for Examiner.com. Coming to you a very special day here today. We are on board the 70,000 Tons of Metal Cruise. Say hello to a couple of the guys from Pretty Maids. Welcome. How are you? Thanks a lot. Great. Great to cool. see you, here, Ronnie. Good to be here. Yes. So, what an absolute pleasure it is to have you guys on board. It's the second annual trip with 42 bands playing from Miami, and this time we're going to the Cayman Islands right now, speaking to you, sailing along the seas of the Atlantic, and um, wow, what an absolute pleasure it is to have you guys. Um, first of all, your impressions of the trip so far. I know um, you're about to go on stage. In a couple of hours after we do this interview, Pretty Maze will be playing on the pool deck to a bunch of rabid fans, including myself. So, um, what do you guys think so far? What are your impressions of this trip? Well, that would be cool. I think we consider ourselves actually probably one of the most popular bands on the trip. This trip on a limit, uh, at the schedule, you know, yeah. probably the closest you get to uh, just a Timberlake. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> no, <coughs> no, we're, we're having a good time. We're yeah. having a great time. We're looking forward. Actually, this is it's got to be the first time we're going to, you know, play in front of a part of the American sure. audience, right. and definitely the first gig in the Caribbean. Yeah. Well, I was I was definitely going to say. I mean, my introduction to Pretty Maids was back in 1987 with the Future World album, and uh, so obviously when you had the Future World album was big, it was a, a couple of videos, including for the title track, and I actually grew up in Chicago where a small radio station always played Loud and Proud, mm -hmm. and that was my intro to you guys, and been hooked ever since. But a lot of Americans, you know, are not aware of you guys. You play a lot of shows overseas, um, and of course a lot of your albums after that were not really printed in America, so can you just kind of summarize for, and of course this is going everywhere, but especially to the American audiences, yeah. what you guys have been up to all these years? Um, I mean, well, I mean, basically we're, we're like a 30-year-old band, and um, you know, I mean, in the 80s, you know, in the heavy metal heyday, you know, there was, there was a lot of focus on MTV and stuff like that, right. get, get your music right. played on video. We did actually, we did record two albums in America and stayed in New York for half a year and the, the following album was done in New York as well called Jump the Gun I had a problem release in America too um, the next one Syndicate don't, I don't think it was released but which back in 92 it was released yeah. on Sony Music back then you know but then up through the 90s you know we, we sort of you know the whole hard rock heavy metal thing yeah. went sort of underground became a cult thing you know first came uh, the grunge you know yeah. and it, it, it all got a lot heavier I guess right. you know but we kept going and we actually had a lot of success in, in Japan in those years right I was going to say all those years you kept flourishing in other yeah. countries right and a couple of years ago, we signed with uh, Frontiers Records on the last album, Wake Up to the Real World from '86, and, and the, the, the latest from the album, Panama, and had a reasonable release, I guess you know. So, well, anyway, we, we have a lot of feedback from yeah. American fans too. Yeah. And we, we always had during the years, actually. Yeah. But, but of course, in the '80s, people, what were people most sure. 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 But I mean, it's so funny because we never played in America. It's, it's, it's a bit weird. This is your first time ever in America. For, that's no, I've been to America. I was in America last year. Not, not, but not I mean, touring. The touring is the first time we're going to play from oh, an American. I did not know that. Wow. So we're actually looking. Uh, it's kind of weird. Actually, Incredible. we're going to do a, you know the Pro Power Festival in Atlanta in September this year. It was actually supposed to be the first one. This one, this this, this, this trip came came on. Well, then I don't feel so bad for the fact that I've never seen Pretty Maze before, because oh. I just thought maybe I missed the opportunity, but wow, first time in America for you guys. As, as Ronnie said, it's their 30-year anniversary, and I know you recently announced that you are going to be putting out, your, and I've seen the trailer, for your first ever live album coming mm. out, I think, March 27th, I think? Yeah, in, in North so, America. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, talk about how that came about, and well, not necessarily why it took so long, but I mean, the thought process, why now for the live album? I think it for a while, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, th we just thought it was, I mean, people suggested for us to, to do, like, a, a visual thing for all those years, and we said, why, why haven't you done a visual thing? I said, I didn't take a goddamn look at us. You know, <laughs> you know. But, uh, no, seriously, I think it's, a, I think we, we had a new spark, you know, on doing the pandemonium album. Right. Uh, we did a lot of touring throughout 2010 and 11, you know, new members in the band, and, and I, think, I think the band is better than it's been for damn ages, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, um, it, it's, it's like a visit card, you know, to present to people, especially, you know, the territories like America, South America, where we never, never played, um, to show that, hey, those guys might be a bunch of old farts, you know, playing for 30 years, but we're still rocking, you know, yeah. we're still having a good time, and so I hope people will think this, uh, I think it's been really, uh, really happy. How 
How did you uh, get the call? Did you just simply get a phone call to be on 70,000 tons? How did it all come about as far as conflicts with Turing or, I mean, were you on no. board, as far, no pun intended, but were you on board once you got the call saying, yeah, we would love to do that? Well, we just had, you know, we did some couple of gigs in the beginning of December, you know, and we were actually in the midst of finishing off the, the DVD thing, mixing it, you know, so we, we had this call. I'm not actually sure where it came about. We just had, a, had an offer, you know, to go on this trip, you know, and everybody said, well, hey, January, I mean, it's grey and cold, and, and for some reason, January is as long as uh, January, well, February, and March, and April. Sure. <laughs> and back home in Denmark, it's snowy and blizzards yeah. and sort of damn or something. How, how can you refuse to go to the Caribbean? Sure. You should be a jerk. We all said no, by the way. Look at me, I was in, in an hour to <laughs> get the shock. Man. So then, what are you going to do when we get to the islands tomorrow? Any plans for a uh, kind of bar somewhere? Find a bar, a lot yeah. of drinking on the beach? I definitely want to go. Yeah, absolutely. got to say, I'm going to get to Yes. <laughs> well, what a specific, what a special occasion for pre-mates to be in their first ever time in America. We sailed from Miami uh, yesterday on Monday, January 23rd, and we're, like I said, we're on we're our way to our Georgetown Cayman Islands. We'll be back in Miami on Friday, so you'll be playing two sets. Yeah. Every band plays one set on the way of the Cayman Islands and another set on the way back. So I would imagine, you know, 30 years of material, you've got a lot to choose from. Was it difficult to choose a song <coughs> that you're going to be playing? Well, but basically, we actually we sort of playing like this, the songs we played on the last tour. You know, maybe one or two changes. But for American sense. audiences, it's brand new. So I know, I know, but we so still, we, you know, there's there's certain songs that we obviously have to play, right. like, like like especially here on this trip, we have to do some stuff from the future world, sure. because it's the songs that has that has an right. recognition by right. American fans. Right. So we we sort of, I mean, if we played a lot of stuff from the nineties, that probably would right. make sense. But I mean, then again, I mean, on, the, on this trip, it's um, I mean, it's, it's a very diverse audience. Yeah. Like said, there's so many German people. There's, I mean, people, I mean. So we, we're going to stick to more or less, well definitely, maybe we might, you know, square one, two, three songs. We're going to do some stuff from the Pandemonium album, and some stuff from all stuff from the Eagles. Awesome. Well, it's, it's fantastic to have these guys on board. I mean, it's a real treat. Thank you for taking the time to do the interview, well, Ronnie. Pleasure, man. Thank you Take so care. much, guys, and um, wish you the best of luck. We'll see you in the photo pit in a couple of hours at the show. And, um, these guys cool for Pretty Maids here coming aboard Royal Caribbean's Majesty of the Seas on 70,000 tons. This is Jay Nanda, San Antonio Metal Music Examiner, signing off.